welcome to another data science video. In this presentation, we will see the dimensionality reduction technique of a given data set using principal component analysis, or PCA, and how we can draw PCA plot with legends. Before going through the coding procedure, let's start with little discussion on the principal component analysis, an idea behind preserving the variance. Principal component analysis is a feature reduction technique. By far, it is the most popular dimensionality reduction algorithm, also called feature reduction technique. First, it identifies the hyperplane that lies closest to the data, and then it projects the data onto it. Later in this video, we will see the algorithmic approach to find principal components. PCA finds the latent variables in our dataset, while retaining as much information as possible. Here we will see the implementation of PCA using the scikit-learn library. Because this library already implements PCA for us, and is a way to generate the scree plot. The idea behind PCA is preserving the variance. Before we can project the training set onto a lower dimensional hyperplane, we first need to choose the right hyperplane. For example, a simple 2D dataset is represented in the figure below, along with two different axes, or the one dimensional hyperplanes. Below is the result of the projection of the dataset onto each of these axes. As we can see, the projection onto the PC1 line preserves the maximum variance, while the projection onto the PC2 line preserves very little variance. It seems reasonable to select the axis that preserves the maximum amount of variance, as it will most likely lose less information than the other projections. PCA algorithms consists of several distinct steps. Step 1. Get the data and plot a graph for the data. Here, we will calculate the mean for all attributes for columns to find the center of the data by subtracting the mean from each value of the column. Step 2. Transform the data center to the origin. Now randomly draw a best fit line that defines the minimum distance from the data point. And measure the distance of each data point from the origin, then square the distances, and sum them all up. For the line, the sum of square distances is maximum, is the principal component line. In step 3. Compute the covariance matrix, M, of the transformed data. Here covariance is a measure between two variables that shows how those attributes vary from each other. Which means if one goes positive then does the other one go positive. Or if one goes positive, does the other go negative. Remember that, covariance and correlation are very similar things, the only difference is, correlation is bounded between negative 1, and 1. Whereas covariance is not necessarily bounded between negative 1, and 1. The, co the covariance matrices are square matrix because they represent covariance within each column in a dataset. Step 4. Calculate the eigenvectors and eigenvalues for the covariance matrix. MV equals VD. Here, V is the eigenvector, or the singular vector. D is the eigenvalues. V is the projected vector from the data onto the principal component line. The vector is perpendicular to the data. Step 5. Calculate the principal component. PC equals BV. Where B is the mean subtracted data, we found in step 2, and V is the eigenvector. The eigenvector V is also called loading. It tells us that how much a data point is important over others. We have covered a lot more fundamentals on PCA in our machine learning landscape part 2. Link will be in the description. Now let's talk about dimensionality reduction using scikit-learn's PCA class. As we have seen, there is much complex procedure involved in finding principal components. Luckily, we don't need to go through all these procedures to apply PCA to reduce the dimensions of our dataset. Because we have a scikit-learn PCA class that already implemented these algorithmic procedures of PCA for us. The PCA class implements PCA using SVD decomposition, just like we saw earlier in the algorithm. Here the following code applies PCA to reduce the dimensionality of the dataset down to two dimensions. Note that, the class automatically takes care of centering the dataset. After fitting the PCA transformer to the dataset, we can access the principal components using the components variable. So, enough talk with fundamentals, let's jump right into the code. Starting with importing initial libraries. Then we will import the dataset and load it to the pandas data frame. Here we will be working with the iris dataset. As we know, the iris dataset consists of four features, or the dataset has four dimensions. So we will down it to two dimensions, using principal components analysis. So that we can plot them in a 2D graph. To apply the PCA, we need to separate the numeric columns in the dataset. Here, we are converting the categorical species column to numeric values, to assign the C value in the PLT.scatter function, as a sequence of colors. 
This way we will be w able to color code the different categories of principal components. Now, we will scale the data using the standard scalar feature provided by the Scikit-Learn's preprocessing module. Although PCA centers the dataset by itself, yet scaling the data, before passing it to the algorithm, is always a good practice. Now we will apply PCA on scale data. So, importing PCA class from the decomposition module of the Scikit-Learn library. The following code applies PCA to reduce the dimensionality of the iris dataset down to two dimensions. As we can see here, PCA has reduced the four features, or the dimensions of iris dataset into two. Now, we will plot the principal components in the 2D graph. Here the converted categorical values also help to create legends for the plot. Here we can see in the graph that the PCA converts the correlations among all of the features into a 2D graph, without losing any information. So, it clusters the data points together with the highly correlated features. We have color-coded here the clusters so that we can easily recognize them. In this 2D plot, we can see that the PCA clusters together three different kinds of iris species, based on their features that are highly correlated. So we can say that, PCA has successfully able to reduce the dimensionality of the iris dataset, retaining all useful information.